At this point, I think we all know. I'm not exactly a master builder. A barn, a f***ing barn, are you kidding me? Nope, not gonna happen, I will not live in a damn barn. I do my best and I manage to create some interesting things here and there, but I'm an incredibly indecisive builder and I don't always create the most beautiful things. The Adventures of Waffles is basically Roof Iteration Simulator 2023. <laughs> I'm a bit more of a function over fashion kind of guy and that's okay, but Valheim is a game of creativity and imagination. Imagination. So, I had an idea. What if I toured some of your awesome builds? Maybe it'll give me some inspiration for future ideas, or perhaps it just makes me feel inferior. On this first episode of Build Tours, I'm joining Veklum, and he's going to show me around his beautiful Valheim creations. Let's go. Now, it's a very, very short trip up the coast here, because I, um, I decided to settle in the first halfway decent spot I found outside of the stone circle and I never saw a reason to leave again because it was quite a nice spot. You have Haldor right there too so that's amazing. That's right yeah, at yeah, spawn. It's amazing. Crazy close. I'll on swing out and give you a little cinematic of the side as it comes in. This looks cool. Jeez. <laughs> I officially feel terrible about all of my buildings. <laughs> this no, is awesome. no, no, you must not, you must not. This is the sort of thing I have been, whoops. Oh, well, good grief. Uh, that there the is that. I've done that in ever. <laughs> While I was recording. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You saw nothing. Everything's what? fine. I don't <laughs> need to repair my boat. It's absolutely normal. Right. This is the dock. It's quite the These lovely are dock. Just doors out to the side to the moat. This looks cool. Yes, Quite the, the nice courtyard here. here. And my garden. Yes. Wow. This is cool. Oh. I like how you curve those. Come and appreciate the garden for a moment. Very nice. But I think we all know what question we have to ask. Uh, yeah. Are the bees happy? I should hope so. <laughs> Let's find out. That's honey. Yep, okay, indeed the bees are happy. It's official. This looks like a nice inn. Welcome to my humble abode. Wow. This looks awesome. I've never found space for the serpent trophy. Although, in my playthroughs... I built this staircase with that in mind. That's awesome. Yeah, this looks great. I yeah. like I like the, the space, the two wide right here, and how they jut off to the side. This looks great. Yeah, I wanted to make it feel as open an area as possible. This is the food chests here, obviously, by the cauldron and everything. I've got my uh, chair so I can sit and keep an eye on the oven. Right. Spare food stuff for specific recipes, things I'm using at the moment. Oh, it looks like you have some uh, some storage over here. Jeez, everything is so perfectly oh, yeah. aligned. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I, I may have a touch of OCD when it comes to these things. These are the crafting stations. Uh, uh, you may notice a distinct lack of um, upgrades. Under the floor, I assume? They are. They're nice. down here. You can even come Ooh. and have a peek. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, wow. This is perfect. Yeah. Um, this is the first time I've done it properly. I kind of experimented with having them outside and around and behind fake walls and stuff. But right. This is the first time I've, I've built it deliberately. That is as low as I can go. I go any lower and it floods. Right. <laughs> This is my main portal, uh, and we'll pop through there and have a look at the farm in a minute. But cool. for now, uh, yeah, let's wander you upstairs, and I shall show you around the top area. These doors open up onto the balcony that looks out over the dock. Very nice. The water. Quite a nice view out here. Probably yeah. my favourite view. Yeah, uh, and it connects to walkways above. I can, from here I can defend out here, shoot out. This opens out onto the courtyard. This is cool. Very nice. Uh, my favourite bit of balcony, just this little bit out here. This Ooh. curve. Ooh. Love it. I do like that. Nice. It looks nice. Yeah. yeah. Surprisingly easy to do as well. Yeah, it looks really easy. I've never just I've just never even conceived of that idea. Oh, um, this is a perfect use of those kind of corner piece red jutes things. I, I've never even thought about 
how that would look like those those banners I that looks perfect find a good use for them for ages um i was using them as window framings in my last place but mm -hmm. i didn't like the way it came out and i thought actually no let's just use it for the boudoir yeah this is perfect yeah uh my maximum comfort bedroom one max moment. comfort 16 yes indeed oh that's Hot your fire room. right there yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a Interesting. built in here, so I, I built a sort of alcove. I didn't realize that would that would count as fire. That's really cool. It does. Uh, it also produces smoke, um, <laughs> which True. is why it's got a dedicated chimney and it's on the other side of the alcove. Not that's why ideal. I had to build oh, the that's walls a, out the back. That's a cool little chimney you got. That's really nice. Actually, if you look here, this. This wall here, that the lantern and the Ichthyr trophy are on, that's my central chimney. The hearth is directly underneath us. Gotcha. Still, still more than spacious enough up here. That's that's that works great. Hey, right. Hey, so, from hey, here, hey. Mm. The hell is this? It's August. <laughs> yeah, I never go around to taking it down. <laughs> uh, this is where I have my breakfast. Oh wow. Very cool. With one of my Netflix spare cultist trophies. Ah, yes, the spare. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely, I think it's one of the coolest looking trophies. It is. It is. I, I really like it. And it's not too big, which was just perfect to pop out here. That's what she said. Yeah, let's uh, wander out onto this outer end. This is the outer wall. Below, you will see the smeltery. I actually like how you have the the roofing pieces up here and it doesn't really feel like the, the fact that you put the half block down right there that that makes it yeah. look really natural i like that a lot i've gone with a theme with this so it's all sort of variations on the theme no two sections look exactly the same but the whole thing should kind of flow and look like it all belongs in the same build this is my obliterator I'm not sure if you're aware but uh black marble is immune to the obliterator damage. It is not immune to fists. <laughs> <laughs> Looks good. Uh, if you'll, uh, Ooh, look around at this here. Down this here. Is little sneaky little uh, spot right here. You will find that this entire compound is covered by workbenches, and half of them are hidden or completely covered up. This is a very nice implementation of this as well. It's inside the None stairs. None of the sparks get out. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I wanted to try and sort of set it, recess it a bit, um, build it in. Oh, you got the little yeah. insert part right yep. here. And oh. you can pop it in the hatch up there. Jeez. Onto the second stage of the walls. My farm. Nice nice little barn. Looks very oh, yes. barnish. This was my original house. Oh, was it? It's now the boar house. Oh, I like this implementation right here. This is, uh, yes, this you is can smart. get in and out nice and easily. The balls can't get out. And around here... That's so know. easy and simple, but yet I would have never thought of it. And then <laughs> here is the piggy bank. The piggy bank. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> this is the side gate and the closest I've got to a bridge. Oh, wow. I just I have to appreciate your doorway real quick. You, you put a regular door... In a circle like yep. that, it actually looks really good. I've never even thought of that. Yeah, they work uh, as long as you can deal with the fact that uh, it does clip at the top. Right, right, but it looks great on the inside when it's closed. Yeah, when it's closed, it looks great. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's really cool. Before I take you in there, this is the uh, the cloisters. The cloisters. This is very wispy over here. Yes. It looks amazing at night, in fairness. I can imagine. This connects to the top level of the cloisters. That's the wall and the obliterator where we were just now. <laughs> so to me, in my dumb brain, cloister is a Pokemon. What do you mean by that word? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's the name for walkways around a courtyard like this. Gotcha. Never heard it before, but hey, we're learning. Mm -hmm. And then into my private trophy room. Oh, this is great. With the second set of the bosses that I've killed, because whenever I kill a boss, I go back and do it again a little bit later to get a second trophy so I can fill it up at home. Makes sense. This is a perfect yeah. uh, 
round section for uh, all the bosses and trophies. And that's that's just the the centerpiece right there being an oak tree. Definitely a great choice. Or, uh, uh, you know what I mean? The, the beech tree. Uh, yeah. Birch. Well, uh, I wanted to stick with a simple black and white theme for the banners and just keep it really, really simple. So the dark wood beams would work with everything else. And, of course, the silver birch is white and black. So I like it. Perfect. That definitely I've also fits. tried to alternate the um, colors of the banners so it kind of fits with each of the uh, each of the bosses. It means that the queen's going to be on a white one, but I'm wearing a I'm wearing <laughs> I'm wearing a hat. <laughs> oh wait, I, I need a screenshot of that. Hold on. <laughs> Down to the ground floor. I haven't actually decided exactly what I'm going to do with this space, but I might turn it into a sort of dedicated portal hub, so places that I go to frequently. Uh, these. Hornet pieces on the outside. What are those? These bits up here. That shape is triangular floor place with the pointed cornice tops oh. and the um, undersides. Clipping them all through and stacking them on top of each other. That... In certain lights, uh, it changes. So as the sun goes around and the uh, day progresses, the shapes change and shift and look weird. Actually, Probably my favourite bit. I should really show this off to you, actually, because I'm not sure if you noticed. Take a look at these windows a moment. They taper inward. Yep. That's pretty cool. That, for such a simple effect, believe it or not, took me about three and a half hours to get this <laughs> room right. <laughs> oh, I believe it. That's It, it definitely looks really good. Like that. Each one of the walls on these sides are completely different set of attacking points to the ones on these sides. They're actually about six, seven pixels further in towards the room than the other side. And it means that I could get these sides flush. So just the edges poke through and they look like bolts. It was the entirety of the point of doing it. Okay. Um, I managed the same thing out here with the doorway in. Ah, okay, cool. So they cool. look like um, iron rivets. And it, it gives it a lot of depth, in. too. I was taming wolves for a while, but their constant howling did me nothing. <laughs> it's so uh, it's dark. Farmhouse. It's not lit yet. I know. I haven't put any lights up in here. So. This is still a good-sized house right here. Uh, yeah, this is about the size of a uh, oh. house that I've been working with so far. And actually, I love the roof on this one. This looks great on the outside. Like, it's very yeah. spacious on the inside, but that's this looks fantastic. At my house, I have an integrated chicken breeder. It's in the roof. Well, in the loft. <laughs> did you build all this Where's with uh, vanilla, or did you do any commands? Did you like get a bunch of resources with commands, or is this all 100% you? Oh no, this is this is pure survival vanilla. <laughs> Everything I've used, I've um, I've mined myself with nice. my own fair little white hands. Nice. Uh, okay. This is the completely unused loft area, although you can now see the full span of the roof in here that I managed to do without a central pillar. It's beautiful. This is this is great. The core wood probably does it's it right. It's a nice big area. I'm planning on turning this into a sort of big dining hall. I'm going to have lots of uh, hanging burger lanterns for lights. Sure. But in here, help me whistle out. Nice. I guess I have one out. Two hands. Okay. These guys are the infertile egg layers because they are <laughs> away from the hearth. And there's two there which I had to put the fence down in front of instead of above because it's very finickety sometimes. Mm -hmm. But they are the ones that lay the eggs that hatch. <laughs> and the chickens themselves, I can access from either end. I've got another little airlock system. But they're in the gap of the wall. And yeah, hey, I fed buddies. them not long ago. So. We've got four chickens who have hatched and uh, five eggs which have not, which can just be collected and popped in the chest, actually. I heard an explosion. Uh, yes, what you're hearing, just to our right, is the moat. And it's almost certainly going to be skeletons and graylings fighting each other. <laughs> gotcha. Ooh, ooh, there we are, night time. Night time, okay. Oh yeah, this is gorgeous. 
yeah, like I say, this place comes alive at night. It just looks so much cooler. Uh, you'll want to get upstairs and uh, get a look from the top of the cloisters down into the... Very nice indeed. Oh yeah, this is gorgeous in here. Yeah, yeah, it looks nice in there. Uh, it's, it's quite good from up top as well. Yep. I'm just here. Yep, this is definitely great. Yeah. One of my prettiest aspects that I, 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 I love there. I, I, I do occasionally just stand up here and go, ah, for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of considering putting a lighthouse up over there. Yeah, I could I could definitely see you building something um, nice for a lighthouse. Oh, you have some friends. That rock, just that. Oh, have they come to say hello? Yeah, if, if I actually get too close, they will... Whoops. They will pop in and... Oh, for the love of... Right, okay, fine. Apparently, I cannot hit the top of <laughs> today. I don't have a problem, because if you'll note, there isn't actually a direct way up in right. here. There are no steps. They won't pathfind. I've, I've tried to add depth and interest wherever I can with it all. Uh, the main curtain wall is just really, really basic. Two courses of big blocks with a course of black marble on top. All the way around, Makes basically. sense. Looks good. Still, still um, gives it a little bit of depth. Yeah. Changes things up and a little bit. And that's actually the majority of what I have spent the last um, four or five days mining <laughs> marble and stone for, is just building the curtain wall. Because it was palisades before. It's it's gorgeous. Yeah, this, this curve right here, this looks great from below as well. And I like how you have this piece right here, the stone piece, holding it up kind of. That's that's beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the little details I've been trying to really push on this build and just... Yeah, do something a little bit interesting to look at. And yeah. stuff that changes and looks different in different lights as well. Because you got to see the garden at night. That, 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 was, that was the main thing. I wanted you to see the garden at night because it just looks fantastic. Oh yeah, definitely. I was initially going to try and build an observation tower over in the corner where the farm is now. But by the time I remembered I was going to do that, I realized I'd completely forgotten everything else was in place and I didn't want to move anything about because it all just felt... That's just it how felt it really nice where it was, so yeah. Well, this was definitely a pretty fantastic tour. Thanks for taking me on this. Hi, oh, more than welcome. I'll see you around. Appreciate yeah. it. Indeedy. <laughs> see ya. Thanks to Vecklum for letting me tour his glorious build. If you'd like to submit your build for a future video, there's a Build Tours channel in the Waffle Iron Discord server. Thanks for joining, and I'll see you in the next one.